Good morning viewers, welcome back to Breaking News today on Monday 11 of September 2023. I'm Elsa Fadila, will bring you the most update and hottest news from all around the world. And here is the headline for today. Indonesia as the third largest democratic country in the world will hold general election in 2024. More than 200 million domestic voters and 1.75 million Indonesian diaspora around the world will go to the polls on February 14, 2024 to elect the next president and vice president. Reported from the BBC.com, it has been announced that three presidential candidates will run for the 2024 presidential election, namely Anis Baswedan, Ganjar Pranowo, and Prabowo Subianto. Anis Rashid Baswedan is an academic, activist, and politician. He was then appointed Minister of Education and Culture in President Joko Widodo's first term government. He does not represent a single political party, but his candidacy in the 2024 presidential election contest has so far been supported by the Nasdem Party, the Prosperous Justice Party, and the National Awakening Party. In early September, the coalition that supported him declared Anis Baswedan and Muhammad Iskandar, general chair of the National Awakening Party, as the presidential and vice presidential candidate pair. Ganjar Pranowo has been involved in politics for a long time. Before running as a presidential candidate, he served as governor of Central Java from 2013 to 2023. Ganjar was nominated by his party, the Indonesian Democratic Party of Struggle. However, friction between the parties that support him and several groups supporting Jokowi at the grassroots may put Ganjar Pranowo in a difficult position, especially at a time when he needs vote support for his electability. The upcoming election will be the third time Prabowo Subianto has run for president and the fourth time Prabowo has run for president and vice president. Prabowo gained popularity among Gen Z and millennials thanks to his image change. Defense Minister Prabowo Subianto is considered to have a strong commitment to developing the country. The general chairman of the Gerindra party is believed to be able to make Indonesia better if he is trusted to continue President Joko Widodo's leadership. The National Survey Institute released the results of a survey regarding the electability of three presidential candidates. The chairman of Gerindra, Prabowo Subianto, still occupies the top position, according to the LSN survey result. LSN Executive Director Dr. Gemma N. Baker said that Prabowo's dominance over his competitors remains significant if only three presidential candidates participate in the presidential election. Well, viewers, that's all the news for today. I'm Elsa Fadila. Thank you for watching and have a great day.